Studying abroad at Goshen College is a uniquely transformative experience. Our Semester Abroad program allows students to immerse themselves in other cultures while becoming better global citizens. Study Service Term, Goshen College's International Studying Abroad program, allows students to travel together with their own professors and peers. Half of the term is studying the culture and language, while the other half is spent serving and working alongside the locals. Since 1968, over 7,000 Goshen College students have studied and served in 24 different countries around the world through our nationally recognized SST program. Goshen College's distinguished SST program is unlike any other study abroad program in the nation. It's a one-of-a-kind experience that emphasizes the value of global citizenship and cultural diversity. It gives you the opportunity to go somewhere that's totally different from what you're used to, and you learn a lot about yourself, but you come back and you have such a bigger perspective on the world. It's, it's such a powerful experience that like, you just, you won't ever, like I won't ever forget SST. It's the opportunity to use the world as your classroom, as your school, and, and to have uh, a familiar faculty person to accompany you on that journey. These are places that are a little more out of the way or I would say more intensely different. Uh, Senegal, China, Cambodia, uh, Tanzania. Those are places that are, are significantly different than the standard places where you would go to study abroad. Your lecturers are people who are from that country. Uh, you do some kind of service work alongside other people from your host country. Many universities and colleges offer study abroad programs. What they usually do is contract with uh, organizations and programs uh, that operate in the countries and just send their students. But we send essentially small sub-communities of our on-campus community and they learn together. Also, I mean, we've been doing it since 1968. Um, when Goshen College started SST, it was revolutionary. SST is by definition interdisciplinary. Over 90 days, the students have a chance to learn about all kinds of things. We have different lectures from um, experts or um, just people from the different communities that we're living in about history, politics, um, business in Peru. Places that you get to go and see, learn some history, and also see all the different kinds of people who come from all over the world to see this place. We went to see Angkor Wat, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. And it is truly amazing. It is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. You get a broad array of angles and, and perspectives into the country. You're not just learning about the arts. You're not just learning about the history, you're also learning about the environment. You're also learning about intercultural interaction. The study service term is experiential. On the SST program, you learn by going places and by doing things. But what many of our students do in Cambodia is go out into the countryside and at a small school or out of the context of the home where they are living, they do language class. So we have some placements down in Peru in coffee plantations. And so students who are interested in going out and planting shade trees among the coffee plants and helping with the coffee harvest. We also have chances to place students with churches, working with members of the youth group and assisting with the praise music on a Sunday morning and accompanying the pastor on their visits to local community members. I got to spend um, 12 hours a day working in a clinic and shadowing up different physicians. I got to see surgeries, I got to help, and it really solidified my um, desire to go to medical school to have a career in the health field. And I was in a rural village for service and um, they built a solar well there, so a well that would pump up water so the village had um, potable water. Um, the project that I specifically worked on was biodigesters, which is basically taking manure, capturing the methane gas released from that manure, and then using it, capturing it in such a way that you can use it for cooking. I lived in a Cham Muslim village, so for my service assignment, I was to teach English for an hour a day in this little two-room two schoolhouse for Islam. 
So it was right beside the mosque, and that it, when we weren't teaching English in the afterwards in the evenings, they would teach the children how to read the Quran. I think we had an art major, several art majors, who worked at a paper making cooperative that was formed by women who wanted to clean up a dump in their neighborhood, and they cleaned it all up, and they started uh, taking in uh, food scraps and composting, and then they made, and this is actually from it, they made their own paper. And, and all of this is homemade paper that they, they mixed up the pulp, and they, and they, could, they had like onion paper and banana paper, and, and so we had an art major who got to work there, make paper, but she drew some designs that then ended up on their cards. The way everything happens, I mean, as a student in that context, you're studying language, um, part of that is formal, part of it is out on the street. If you want to buy something, if you want to uh, travel somewhere, you, you use the language on a regular basis. Most of the learning that I had on SST happened when I was having conversations with my family, when I went to church with them on Sunday, when I would spend the weekends hanging out with my host brother. It's important to do the background work of attempting to learn the language as well as possible before you go, because it'll just make it that much easier. I didn't speak Spanish very well before I left, um, and I was really nervous about um, speaking Spanish with everybody, but I mean, it's so easy, super easy to pick it up while you're submerged in it. I expected it to be hard. I expected to be sad. I expected to cry um, and be frustrated. When you're put in a situation like that, you kind of have to pick yourself up and you're a little scrappier than you think you'll be. I can remember one student uh, who went off with us to Cambodia the first time who absolutely did not want to go on SST, who was frightened of it, who came to talk with me two or three times before went on SST, was thinking about pulling out of SST. And when she arrived, she became probably our, uh, our strongest student who absolutely immersed herself in the culture, worked at the language, loved her family. SST is so much a part of like who we are here that you are always hearing stories about SST on campus of like people who have already went. And so in a lot of ways, you're just naturally prepared because you're around so many people who have done this experience before. That helped me to prepare my mind um, and kind of put it at ease that I wasn't gonna have to be doing this alone. They will have a chance to explore their own identity and to figure out who they are in the world and ro what role they want to play in the world. I can start thinking with more than one perspective and I can start considering people in other parts of the world because those people in other parts of the world are really real to me now. I thought that I would only be seeing differences between the United States and Peru, but the majority of the time I found myself picking out the similarities, and I think that also helped me to, um, to immerse myself in the experience and to make myself feel more comfortable in that country. But overall, I think that, I mean, we always say the cliche that it's a small world, but I think that the world did get smaller because, yeah, I just found it more relatable. When they make it through, they come back with a feeling um, of, of accomplishment, a little bit tougher, like, wow, I did something I didn't know I could do. I survived three months in another country in a, with, an, with people I didn't know, with, in another language, and look what they gained as a result. Friendships that will last many, many years, meaningful interactions that they will never forget. When you are put in a situation where everything around you is different than what you're used to, all of a sudden you start learning about things that you're used to that you never really notice. Culture, you learn more about your own culture when you're away from it, because there's a lot of things you just yeah. take for granted. The summer I moved to a new place where I didn't know anybody, and just in the conversations that came up, SST came up all the time, just in like when they were learning about me, because it, SST had affected a lot of the way I look at things and, and just kind of my mindset. Everyone has a college degree who is applying for the same job that you're applying for. So what is going to set you apart from all the other applicants for that position? You need stories to tell. You need something that's distinct, that makes you different than everybody else. And I'll tell you what, going and living in Peru or Cambodia or China or Tanzania or Senegal or Morocco or wherever you go on SST is going to give you something different to talk about.